hello to Arthur, Ray. Hello, Arthur. Uncle Arthur. Hello, Ray. You've grown a bit since the last time I saw you. What's happened to your shirt? You've been doing naughty as one of the bridesmaids. <laughs> well, it's traditional. It's a wedding, Uncle. Oh, yeah? What happened to the material? They ran out. Looks like a couple of curtain remnants. Well, this is a West London original. This is the business. La creme de la creme. Well, the Francais inventor le chabot, les Anglais ajouta la chemise. Does he often go on like this, Bert? Oh, he's got an old lovely in woodwork. And, and one in... French. French, yeah. Well, I remember that if I want any Louis XVII chairs made. What do you want to do with your life, Ray? I don't want to spend it nicking car radios like most of me mates. Yeah, I want to get into tie wearing activities, be a captain of industry like you, Uncle Arthur. Major, Ray. Major. Right. I mean, people look up to you. I mean, they respect you. People don't take liberties with you, do they, Uncle? Only once, Ray. Only once. I run a tightly knit team. I don't think I have room for a new lad at the moment. All right, sir. Thanks, Arthur. If you can do anything, we'd appreciate it. Hello? Yeah. Au revoir, Pierre. How's things? But you left London yesterday. I told him to report to you this morning. Right, well, look, I'll get Terry over there tomorrow. Uh, listen, I think I've got a firm order for that Mercedes 190. Yeah. Right. Leave it with me. Tell her. Problems? Wilf, go and get that lad back in here, will you? Can you drive? Yeah. I need someone to keep an eye on the lockup, do a bit of running around. Report to my North London headquarters, nine sharp tomorrow morning. And uh, get yourself a proper shirt. Right, come on.